I'm Alan Lloyd and this is from Group 3 and today we're going to discuss the story of QGIS software, statistical map, and data sources regarding COVID-19 in Batangas province and process of making statistical map. Hi guys, my name is Mart and again we are Group number 3. In our presentation, we use QGIS or previously known as Quantum GIS. Pero paano nga ba na-develop o nabuo ang QGIS? Well, Ang Quantum GIS ay dinevelop ni Gary Shernan in early 2002. At ito ay naging isang incubator project ng isang non-profit, non-governmental organization na Open Source Geospatial Foundation. Ang version 1 ng Quantum GIS ay na-release noong January 2009. At nito lang 2013 na inilabas naman ang version 2.0 ng software or application na kung saan ang pangalan nito was officially changed from Quantum GIS to QGIS to avoid confusion as both names had been used in parallel. As of 2017, QGIS is available for multiple operating system including Mac OS X, Linux, Unix, and Microsoft Windows. A mobile version of QGIS was underdeveloped for Android as of 2014. QGIS is maintained by volunteer developers who regularly release updates and bug fixes. As of now, the latest version of QGIS is 3.16.1 na na-release lang nitong November 20, 2020. Hello mga kabadi, my name is Gia Lester. I am a group, a member of Group 3. In our presentation, we use QGIS software. The QGIS software is a type of geographic information that implements a large number of geospatial data access, visualization, processing and analysis function and their platforms. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Brian Firma from Group 3. A project to Limson is considered the father of JS, pero sino nga ba si Gary Sherman? Gary Sherman is one of the godfathers. He founded this project on 2002, he started building GIS to solve particular problem and it has since grown in the world's most popular free GIS. He was looking for the post geographic data viewer that runs in Linux and support a broad range of data sources. He received the 2014 Solcats Award at the Portland event for his work with QGIS. Hi, I'm Charlotte May from Group 3. In our presentation, we use COVID-19stat.ph, tracking SARS-CoV-2 cases in the Philippines, especially in Batangas province, to have fully and accurate information about total confirmed cases, recoveries, and deaths as of December 1, 2020. Good day everyone, Nikki Hipastahedor from Group 3. Aside from utilizing a data of COVID-19 cases in Batangas province, we also utilize a shapefile of Philippines administrative boundary. A shapefile format is a special vector data format for geographic information system software. We got the shapefile and DVAR GIS by simply searching DVAR GIS, shapefile, and Google Chrome. Click this. Choose Philippines country and click OK and download. Good day everyone, I am Glenn Martiquinha and here I am going to share some information about the statistical map. So the first essential is to state some general principles applicable to the symbolism of all statistical maps. Statistics are plotted either as aggregations or as densities. Aggregations may be shown by dots more or less correctly placed on the maps in their earth positions. Aggregation maps show actual quantities and the location of the quantities rather than density, although density may be inferred from them. Density maps, by means of shading, show average conditions for each statistical division and der therefore uniformity over the whole of statistical divisions. On some maps, both aggregations and densities are shown, actual and average condition being plotted on the same map. Statistics may be represented by diagrams such as circles. There is usually no need for a base map, though such circles are often placed on a map to indicate their general geographical distribution. Such maps, so-called, are mainly diagrammatic 
rather than statistical map. The main purpose of these statistical systems is to set down first-hand information accurately and quantitatively for an examination of economic resources and determination of the position of economic boundaries. Good day. I am Sharmi B. Gonzalez. Now, I will present to you the purpose of making a statistical map. You can see here at the top the tools and additional tools you can use in QGIS. In the left is the data panel and this is the main panel for viewing the map. For the first task, we need to import the vector data in QGIS. Click the layer, add layer, then click the add vector layer. Then go to the vector data sets and those data you will use. And then click open. Then click the add. And then you can select the layer you need to use. I utilize the phradm1.shp. Click OK. Then add again. And PHL EDM2 SHP, click OK, then close. The PHL EDM1 is the provincial administrative boundary. The EDM2 is the municipal administrative boundary of the Philippines. In this case, we will be utilizing ADM2, which is the municipal boundary, to isolate the certain data from a certain layer, which is the Batangas province. To isolate the Batangas province, click ADM2 data and click select feature by polygon. Then select the area you want to isolate. Then right click. To isolate this, click ADM2, right click, click export, and save selected features as I will name it as Batangas Province Then save Then click OK Then remove the PHL, EDM1, and EDM2 Now, I got the municipalities within the Batangas province. Next, go to at Attribute Table. Then, click this. You can edit this table by typing Ctrl E. Right click the name. And click organize columns. You can uncheck some column that you don't need. The ID. IDO, ISO, ID, ID. Click OK. To add the data gathered by Ms. Dino Felix, click New Field. And I will name it as Confirm. Or the Confirm Cases of COVID-19. Click OK. New Field. Reporters. Da. 
atas Dekat. Then you can add the data then save it now let's customize the output click the Batangas province layer go right click properties then click symbology I use the gradient fill We need to read this. Click apply, then click OK. Now, I want to put the name of the municipalities by going again to properties. Click label. Choose single labels. Value to name. And change the size to one point five by editing again the value. Choose fields and values. Be confirmed. Recoveries. That. Click OK. And then apply. To add a diagram. Go again to properties, click diagrams, choose stack bars, and click the confirm recoveries and that and click the add selected attributes. I change the color to Okay, then apply. Then we're done. To lay out the map, type Ctrl P. I will lay it as Okay, then click the add map.
x ag label Change the font. Change the word. horizontal alignment to center and vertical alignment to, mid to middle then add frame next is add legend Then export the layout as PNG. Then save. We're done. Okay, that's the end of making a statistical map by using QGIS. Thank you for your time and God bless.